Uh, here's a little more information about this uh, high voltage uh, tunable capacitor for um, for a magnetic loop antenna. And the way I made it was to use a quarter inch threaded shaft, which you can get from the Home Depot or Lowe's. And I've got double nuts on everything to lock it down. I've got fender washers and then a rubber friction clutch. And this is a, a Vlasic Crunchy um, Dill Relish jar. And I didn't really do too much to it, just used it the way it came out of the recycling bin. Uh, soldered one wire to the cap. And uh, then I've got a outside plate, which is about three inches by four inches wrapped around there and taped up. And then I made a, a tab to solder to just by cutting it with scissors. And inside the jar, you can see that I've got uh, double nuts and then there is a um, the inside rotor plate. I made that a little bit uh, larger in diameter than it should be so that when the uh, rotor shaft is installed, it, it presses down a little bit more firmly on the glass in there. And that's just like a three quarter inch um, bar of the sheet metal that I use as the rotor arm. So that's the rotor arm and it's soldered to the inside capacitor plate. And then, you know, you see a lot of these guys, they use real wide wires coming out of their high voltage capacitor going to the, the loop. And I just use this number 14 and it seems to work fine. I have no problems with that. So whatever tickles your fancy. And then of course a plastic knob on top. Okay, here's the coupling that I use. It doesn't require any tuning and it's completely broad banded. It'll cover all of the hand bands plus it's a T, T4043 ferrite toroid. And I've got, uh, I've got four and a half turns of number 14 wire on there. And then I've got uh, two clamp on ferrites that just clamp onto the, the coax or that wire pair as it comes out of there. I use heat shrink over that uh, wire pair. You know what you could do is you could just use a uh, strip the strip the shielding back on the coax long enough so that you can make four turns, five turns on the ferrite. You wouldn't even need the white wire. You just use the end of the end of the coax and run it through there four and a half times, and then shot, solder it to the shield. So that's something you can do. And I've had the I've had this running up to. Uh, 120 watts, and there's no arcing at all, so it should work for you pretty good. Good luck.